Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So here we are again with another Halloween decor haul. I'm so, so excited. I have been out for the past couple of weeks into the stores and Halloween is absolutely slapping this year. I've seen so much good stuff. So if you guys are gearing up for Halloween for yourselves, make sure you're getting out there early because the stuff this year is on point. It's it's just fabulous. So make sure you're getting out early and getting your stuff because I think this is going to sell out really, really quickly. So I did a decor haul a couple of weeks ago. So this is everything that I've gotten in the past two weeks. Um, I literally just got home. I'm hot. <laughs> My lipstick is all over the place, but I was so excited to share this stuff with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy it. And just for anybody who's kind of new to my channel, um, I'm very much an all around spooky decor kind of hunter. I like to use my stuff all year round, including Halloween. So my stuff is more like the goth sort of spooky vibe rather than full blown Halloween. Some stuff that I have is more Halloween typical, but I lean to more, more towards the every day is Halloween kind of look, just so you guys know. So jumping right into it. We're going to start with Michael's. I've got my latte that I just got. I went out, I had to buy groceries, I had to do all the things. So all of that's done now and I'm home and just so, so excited to show you guys all of the stuff that I got. So grab yourselves a coffee as well because we've got a lot to go through. Okay, so starting with Michael's. Michael's this year, their lines, uh, their Halloween lines are fantastic. They're very spooky um, and it's very goth romance, goth chic sort of stuff. They have an apothecary line out this year that looks incredible. They have tons of different kinds of beakers and um, like mad scientists kind of stuff and their apothecary line is fantastic. So I got a bunch of stuff from the apothecary line. They also have a gothic romance line that looks really good this year. It's very black and red, very much skulls and skeletons and stuff like that. So Michael's for the past couple of years, I've found has really been a go-to for me. Their stuff is usually pretty well made. And besides that, it's just, like I said, more around that, all year round spooky rather than just the cutesy stuff. So last week, um, make sure you check out the Michaels coupons too. So I downloaded the 40% off coupon that you get when you sign up for the text messages. And I got this coffin shelf. So I've seen these, uh, you know, a bunch of different sellers have them. Killstar has them, Sourpuss has them, but it's very expensive for me to get it and bring it into Canada and pay the customs and all of that sort of thing. So this is very well made. It's um, like wood, like particle board, and the back is sort of that cardboardy. So it's very much like an actual shelf, um, like the Billy bookshelves here. It's very much the same sort of feel. I wasn't thrilled with the pinkish colored background, but it's, it's not terrible. And if I really wanted to, I could use probably some contact paper or something to put a different design on the back here. And so this is very well made. Like I said, it's very heavy. It's all wood and i um, really excited to put this in my display, in my foyer. And I think, I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work, but I might want to drill a hole into the back of this so I can actually hang it on the wall. I'm picking up a few things. I've got a few other bits and bobs here um, because I really want to kind of do a gothic apothecary wall upstairs in my foyer area. So I was so happy to see this. And they also have a smaller one as well, about half the size of this. And it actually has like a Ouija board, like a spirit board kind of symbols on the back. It looks really, really cool. So I might pick up the small one as well. But for now, I was super, super happy to get this one. And then next up from, from Michael's, uh, I think all of the stuff that I got out of there over the past couple of weeks was out of the apothecary line. Like I said, it looks fantastic. So this is the other piece that I got for my gallery wall. So this is uh, a raven's skull. So they have very um, 
Edgar Allan Poe type stuff. Like they have a, a raven, I think, on a skull there, and it says never, like he's holding a sign that says nevermore. They have Edgar Allan Poe um, busts and stuff like that. So this is very much out of that same line. So it has gorgeous writing on the back here and this wonderful raven skull. And just look at the detail on the frame. It's just beautiful. And this is quite heavy as well. It's very, very well made. So that's one thing that I, I like to look for in my stuff is that it's not plasticky. It's not going to fall apart within, you know, a month or two. Because like I said, I like to keep my stuff up for long periods of time. So I can't get stuff that kind of feels like, you know, after a couple of weeks, it's going to fall apart. So super, super happy with this little piece. Definitely going to be going on my uh, gallery wall upstairs once I get that going. And then next, uh, this was so cute. It was quite expensive for what it is, but it's kind of multi-purpose. So this is one of those hide -a boxes. And so you can you can put whatever in here. And uh, I like to buy these hidey boxes just to put my, like if I've done spells for people, I like to keep them in here because I, I don't want the spell to break by throwing the stuff out. I don't want to bury it because sometimes I'm using stuff that's non-biodegradable. So I like to keep them in stuff like this. So this one is quite large and it has an apothecary uh, theme on the front here. So lots of skulls and ravens and just beautiful. I love this piece. And then on the spine here, it says, uh, cabinet of curiosities and oddities so it's just it's beautiful so I like I said I love these boxes you can keep all kinds of things in them and then of course I could just stand it up on one of the shelves as part of my decor for Halloween so really happy with this this was the only one that they had in I don't know if they're getting in more more that have like different sizes and different themes but I'll definitely keep an eye out and if I get any more I'll let you guys know and I mean, you guys know that I have a complete obsession with skulls and skeletons and stuff. So I was so happy to see a couple of different things in, in that line, that apothecary line that will really fit in with stuff on my shelves. And again, this is all year round decor. So this is probably my favorite piece that I picked up today. So we've got an anatomical skull on a stand. And this is some kind of resin uh it's not plasticky it's not light it's 24.99 american and 29.99 canadian so very very happy with him so i saw when i went to home sense which is the store we're going to look at next they had a piece that was very very similar to this but it was very cheaply made and it was kind of that cutesy cartoony halloween look so it'll be great for anyone who's just putting their stuff out uh, just for the season. But for me, I love this uh, anatomical stuff and they had so many things to choose from in this specific line that they've put out this year. So I think, like I said, this guy is definitely probably my favorite thing that I bought today. So he's going on the shelves right away after I finish recording this video. And then this piece very much along the same lines as the uh, raven skull in, in the frame. We have a large one as well that's going to be going up on my shelves. So like it, he's like a resin as well. And um, they have one that's very similar to this, but it's smaller and longer. And uh, at my local witchy store that I would really like to get for the shelves as well. But this one for the price it was uh really cute and he's definitely gonna fit in with my skull theme on the shelves so i was super super happy with this guy and the other thing that i like about these skulls as well is they're not too white um sometimes when of course when you get halloween decorations and skulls and skeletons and stuff um they're bleached out almost completely white so these uh, have lots of shading and lots of different color contrasts with the browns and grays so really really love these skulls definitely excited to put them up on the shelves for sure 
And then the last thing that I got from Michaels, uh, so they had so much signage to choose from, like shelf signage. So they had ones that said boo or beware, happy Halloween, stuff like that. Um, and I, I would really like to get a couple of uh, more signs to put up on my shelves as well because there's quite a bit of space here to fill. But this one, I just, I fell in love with it. It's super tiny. So this has the apothecary theme as well with the skull and the scroll book and a potion bottle. And it says, come in for a spell. So this is made out of wood. Uh, it's just paper that's uh, glued onto wood and so super cute. So this one is definitely going up on the shelf. Sorry guys, my camera just ran out of space. I had to delete some stuff. Um, so just finishing up with this sign. So I'm so excited to put him up on the shelves and uh, we have a very apothecary kind of theme this year. So that's great. And I'm gonna try to get some more of these garlands as well. So I've just wrapped some fairy lights around this one. I'm not sure if you could see it too well. I'll see it on playback. But I've started decorating the shelves. So once I'm finished, I'll be sure to share it with you guys. So that's everything I got at Michael's. And next up, I'll show you everything that I got at HomeSense. Okay, so. <laughs> I am all about the spooky dishware. I just love it. I go absolutely nuts for it. So this was the biggest and most expensive thing that I bought and I'm so glad that I held off on buying another one until I saw this because it was just so beautiful. So this is a skull cake stand. So this is very, very heavy. I mean, the thing weighs at least 15 to 20 pounds and it's solid glass. So I will zoom in so you guys can see it. Um, it's huge. It's absolutely massive. And I actually had a cake on this just this week and it looks great sitting in the kitchen. So it has these skulls on the base. And like I said, it kind of looks uh, like silver or metal, but it is solid glass. So three stacked skulls and then it has um, a really thick base on it and a really thick stand to hold all of your cakes, cookies, whatever in your spooky kitchen. And like I said, super, super well made. And I'm glad that I spent the price on this because it's just gorgeous. So the only thing was um, they had three of these. So they had two that were just the plain glass and they actually had one that was totally black so it was still the glass but it was uh, just black glass but it looked like um, it had fall somebody had dropped it and it had cracked and they tried to glue it back together very poorly and um, so when we saw the black one I had Matt check over it uh, really quickly and sorry the Sun is coming in through the window there so it's screwing up the lighting. Uh, I had Matt check it over really quickly and when we saw that I was like no. As, as much as the black one is really really cool I'll get this one because um, we want to make sure that it's going to hold together and it's it's not broken. So like I said it was it was a little bit pricey it was $50 but for what it is and how well made it is I was absolutely absolutely willing to spend the money for it. And this will be sitting in the kitchen for most of the year because I usually have cakes, cookies, muffins, that sort of thing that's always on repeat. So really, really super happy with this piece. And um, let me know if you guys are in Canada as well and you also see these. And they're just, it's, it's just absolutely spectacular. So super, super happy with this purchase. And next up from HomeSense, because you guys know how much I love having my cranberry juice in a wine glass. So uh, the wine glasses that I have, um, I have two, but there's one that's broken and he needs to be glued back together on the base. But I have the one that's the Mr. Skeleton that's holding up the glass. So they had these ones um, that's just the skeleton hand that's cupping the wine glass. So uh, I got one of these and then I wanted to get like a little bit of a variety. So they had uh, another one there that was kind of very similar to this one, but the hand was in a different position. But this one was super, super cute as well. So this one has like the whole base, the whole handle is skulls and it has a base that's all skulls as well. So this one is very, I feel like it's very uh, wicked and very sinister. So definitely happy with these 
yeah this one seems like it's got a little bit of a bigger wine glass as well on it so super super happy with these matthew and i especially on our saturday night date nights we like to have um like i said i like to have cranberry juice or sometimes we'll buy like sparkling juices and stuff like that and i thought these were super cute to have for the season but again i use my wine glasses all year round so i'm going to be keeping out for more like different styles of these because you know depending on the mood I, I might like to use a different design. So once I get my one Mr. Skeleton one fixed, then I'll have a nice little collection going on. So super, super happy with these as well. And then staying along the same lines as drinkware. So I am not a big Ray Dunn fan. I, I, like some people go nuts for the Ray Dunn and they have full collections and stuff. I'm just kind of like, meh, whatever. Like some of the stuff is cute, but I just find like when it comes out there's people out there and I hate this there's people out there that buy it all at HomeSense or Winners or wherever and then they upsell it for double the price and it drives me absolutely insane but I saw that they had some of the mugs there with the little toppers and I have to say some of them were really super cute so they had one so this is the one that I got so it's got a little witch's hat topper on it and then in orange it says a wee bit wicked so this is my first Ray Dunn mug and he was $12.99 so you'll see these like on Kijiji, Virage Sale, whatever, eBay, Etsy, whatever and they'll be like $25-30 bucks, which I just I hate that so $12.99 I think is very reasonable for a mug especially one with with the ceramic topper on it so it was witchy and this is probably the most Halloween thing that I bought uh, out of all of my stuff. There's a couple of other things there, but um, it's black and orange, super cute. And the writing is debossed. So they had a couple of these. They had ones that said, I think it had a ghost on the top and I can't remember what that one said. Some of them, I, I can't remember. And then they had another one that had a haunted house on top and I was going to get that one but I didn't like what it said. So on one side it said, if you've got it, haunt it. And that's not really my style. So super, super happy with this little one. It's super cute and witchy and uh, I just fell in love with it. So there you go. That's my first Ray Dunn piece and super, super excited that I finally found something out of their collection that I actually liked. Okay, and next up, I have a bunch of pieces that, like I said, a lot of my dishware is very skull and skeleton themed. I bought a, a huge serving bowl last year that has the skeleton hands holding it up. So uh, I saw this piece and I thought it was so cute to go along with our, um, our charcuterie boards that we do. So this is a set of four skeletons and they're holding up a little wooden piece in the center. So this is very well made. Uh, the skeletons are metal and the base is real wood. You know, they've got good reinforcements on the bottom. So this is from the Martha Stewart collection. And funny enough, when I saw it, I was like, there's no price. So I had to go up and get them to give me a price. But it says it's for decoration only, but I have dishes that can fit on here that would be good for like pickles and different kinds of dips and stuff like that. So I was super happy to have him. So we're gonna have a whole skeleton themed Halloween dinner this year and I'm super, super excited. All right, so I finally did pick up a couple of the dishes this year as well. I, every single year I try to get the dishware and I don't get it and then I'm upset because I don't have any. So this was my favorite theme. Uh, I think the first time I saw it was last year. So I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. So this is a witch's cottage. It's super, super cute. So we have the witch in one window and you can see there's a broom and a little pumpkin outside, some ghosts on the other side and there's bats and it has 1666 on the top here. And what I love is even though when you're gonna have food in it, it still has the design around the outside. I find a lot of the dishware just has the design in the bottom. So when you put your food on it, you can't see anything. And then around the outside, there's some pumpkins with like a little garland and it, it just has so much going on, but it's so precious, it's so cute. So I got two of the small plates and two of the bowls. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get any of the big plates. I, I had them and I put them back because I'm not sure if I would use them as much as the small ones for hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. 
So we'll see. But for right now, we have two of the plates and two of the bowls. And I was really shocked actually to see on the back here, it says that they're microwave and dishwasher safe. So um, hopefully this uh, design isn't going to wash off. I might just hand wash them anyway, just to be extra safe. And then I got two super cute canisters. So this is the canister that I've been using for our coffee pods. So uh, I got this one last year. It's just white and it has trick or treat on it and you know, a little witch hat and a jack-o-lantern and stuff. Um, but it's quite small on the inside and, and quite minimalistic. So we just keep our coffee pods in there. And you know, I wanted something that was black and a little bit more spooky everyday spooky chic so I found this one so this one is super cute so it's got jack-o-lantern faces on it and the jack-o-lanterns are actually debossed and their little faces are embossed so that's really really cute black is definitely the way I want to go my whole kitchen is black and white it has this really cute little wooden top on it and I can definitely get more coffee pods in there so I'm not going to get rid of my other one because, I mean, witches can never have too many jars. <laughs> okay, this is what happens when you don't plan on filming. My battery just died. I mean, we had a glitch with the, with the memory card. Now the battery died. Now I don't even know where I was. So this is real life. Uh, usually I'm way more organized with my videos, but <laughs> I wasn't planning on filming today. So I don't even know what I spoke to you guys about. Uh, so I had the plates and the bowls and then the Ray Dunn mug that sounds a little bit wicked and uh, so I think I finished up talking about those things. So just two more things I promise that I got to show you guys. One of them was Total Impulse Buy. Um, they had this very large pack of gift bags that have these little ghosties on them and um, little orange handles, probably a pack of 10 doesn't say. I'm assuming it's a pack of 10. 15. 15 treat bags. So I like to buy these things during the Halloween season and then use them all year long if I'm giving a gift or we're doing a giveaway here on the channel or something like that. So I just thought these were super cute. They were $10 for 15 and they're pretty well made and uh, so super super cute and I'll just hang on to them for like I said whenever we have a gift. And then the last thing, <laughs> totally wasn't expecting to see this in there quite yet because they still have their uh, summer clearance going on in their main kind of aisles, their main section. But Halloween had creeped into the back of the main section. So now they have stuff in the dishware section, they have stuff in the food section, and then I went over to the other side and they did have some Halloween there now. <sighs> I don't go for the gnomes and I don't go for the witches in pretty dresses, which at Home Goods, Home Sense, whatever, the TJ Maxx stores, um, it seems to be very much what they've been concentrating on for the past, what, three or four years that they've had tons and tons and tons of these gnomes and witches in pretty dresses. But Matthew and I were talking about doing something a little bit different this year. Uh, our front entrance way um, has like a veranda and it's enclosed like with a, a roof and stuff on it but it's open on the sides and I told him I was like I would really like to kind of um, I don't know block it off somehow with either boards or tarps or something like that and put up some lights and do like a little spooky scene. So he came up with the idea that it would be cool to get a flower pot or something, paint it black and use it kind of as a witch's cauldron and we would fill it with treats but put some dry ice down in the bottom. So uh, I found this cauldron and they had these I believe in three different sizes. So they had small, medium, large. This was the biggest one they had and it says trick or treat on the front and this is made out of copper. So super, super cute. And what I really like about this, because I find that sometimes when you have stuff that's uh, cutouts in metal, this can be very, very sharp. I think they have the jack-o'-lantern kind of metal 
tubs or whatever you want to call them at Michael's and they're really cute but those edges are really sharp and I find they get bent easily or the paint will chip off easily so I really like the feel of this and I thought it would be super cute somehow if we could put a little uh, little grate kind of thing in the bottom put some dry ice down there and then have our treat bags for the little ghouls and goblins that come through on Halloween night so really really cute how much was this uh, this was $19.99, which is not a bad price for the size. It is metal, it's not plastic. So really, really super happy with this guy. Um, th so this is pretty much the only Halloween piece that I got. I guess my Ray Dunn mug is kind of Halloween-y too. Um, everything else is very much all year round gothic. But super, super happy with this guy, and I'm super, super happy with everything else that I picked up over the past couple of weeks. The stores are fully stocked. They've got awesome lines in this year. Last year was really, really lacking. So I've been so happy with all of my purchases recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And leave me a question or a comment down below because you know I love chatting with you guys. But until next time, stay spooky, everybody. Bye.